Hello. In this session, we're going to start a new chapter, which has to do with data visualization. Matplotlib is a high quality drawing library used in Python programming language. To use this library, you must import it by import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Seaborn is a Python package that enables advanced visualization of data. To use this library, first it should be imported by using import seaborn as sns. Functions out of scale and tight layout will improve the appearance of the figures. Out of scale will set boundaries within the axis of the figure. Tight layout will delete the unused space along the figure. Let's have a look regarding a line drawing. Method plot is used for drawing the line. The call to draw 100 random dots is, let's minimize this a bit, go to spider and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and from numpy.random import star. Let's generate 100 random numbers using method rand n and plt dot plot x1. Let's execute this. If we go to the top plot, then we can see that there were generated 100 random numbers. If we execute this again, we can see that there are some other numbers. How can we know that there are different numbers? Because if we see these two figures, we can see that they are different. So this is not exactly the same as here because there are random numbers generated. A more flexible form will take the string parameter that has three elements. The color represented by the letter, example G for green, the marking symbol that is either letter or symbol, example S for square, and the symbol for triangle, and the line style that can be a symbol or series or symbols. For example, G minus minus represent the green color where dashed lines are used for line styling. The list of symbols is denoted below. So the color is, if it is B, it's blue, G is for green, R is for red, C is for cyan, M is for magenta, Y is for yellow, K is for black, and W is for white. Then we have markers. Dot is for dot, comma is for pixel, O is for circle, S is for square, capital D is for rhombus, small d is for small rhombus, capital X is for cross, plus is for plus, star is for star, and capital H is for hexagon. And for the line style, one dash the line will be solid, two dashes will be dashed lines, dash dot will be for a line top, and column will be for dot. So I have saved this into this file here, so we can use it. The following example draws a green line where data are obtained from array label X2. The dots are marked with a rhombus figure and the line style is line dot. Other options used are autoscape and tight layout. Let's have a look. Okay, first import numpy as np then x2 will be equal np dot array 9 2 4 1 10 and 11 now we need library matplotlib so let's copy and paste from this file here and do plt dot plot x2 we are plotting x2 and we have here g dash dot and d. Let's have a look what does this represent. So g is the color will be green, d is marker will be dot and dash dot will be line dot. Let's execute this. We can see that we have here rhombus. In this point here we have 
also a rhombus. And this line here is 2 with 4. We have here a rhombus. This line here is 3 with 1. 1 is here. So it is again a rhombus. This line here represents the point 4 with 10. And we have here a rhombus. And also here we have a rhombus. We have here 5 with 11. So what are we doing here? The line style is a line done. We can see it. And also the color will be green. We can change this, let's say, to X, for example. Instead of small d, we can have X. If we execute this, we can see that we have small axis here. Also, we can change this, let's say, to magenta. And we see that the color was changed. Also, let's have some dots. So instead of dash dot, we have done like this. We can see that line style was changed. So there are various combinations here. We can do also plt dot auto scale tight equal x. Now we can see that x is x is entirely fulfilled. PLT dot tight layout. Execute this. So in this case, we can see that tight layout will occupy more space. Or if we just comment this and execute again, and more or less it is the same, but in tight layout, the figure will be more presentable and it will have more space. The full form of the plot function will be explained by this example. So let's create a new file and x3 equal np.array minus 1, 3, 5, 11, 15, 9, 13, and 7. First, we have to import np. Okay, then x4 equal np.array 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Then also we have to import this library. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then plt.plot. So in the axis x will be x3, in the y axis will be x4. Alpha equal 0 0.5 so alpha will be another parameter which will show how much transparency will get the color for example if alpha will be 1 then we have the full color however if alpha will be 0 0.1 we can see that transparency is uh, to the maximum so we can see that we have some pale color or if we do like 0 0.3 it is more transparent here. So this is full color and this is more pale colors. Another parameter could be color. Color can be represented using RGB colors. In this case, we have FF, which is the shade of red. 7F will be the shade of green and 00, the shade of blue. Let's do it. In this case, will be this color. So if we do 0 0.5, then another parameter could be line style equal dash dot. Line style dash dot. We have it here. The line will be a line dot. So let's do it up until here. So the line will be a line dot. Okay, then a line width equal 3. We can see now that the width of the line is more than in default value. So with uh, line width equal 1 and line width equal 3. Another parameter could be marker equal small o. In this case, it will be circle. So let's do it. For example, here we have minus 1 and 2, which is here, will be marked with circle. Then we have 
3 with 4, it will be marked with a circle. Then we have 5 with 6, 5 is here, with 6 will be marked with another circle, and so on and so forth. Marker edge color will be black color. Let's go again here. Marker edge color equal so hex value. And if they are all zeros, the color will be black. The edge of the markers was filled with black color. Then we have another parameter marker edge width equal with 2. This looks more filled. For example, if we compare this and this, the default value will be 1. However, if we mark the edges with value 2, this will look more bold. Marker face color equal with the same color as this, so hexadecimal value, which is full red, so FF is 255, 7F will be the green, and 00 will be the shade of blue. Let's execute this. And then marker size equal 20. This will be big value. Marker size equal 20. Execute this. Now we can see that these circles look much bigger in comparison with this because here marker size is quite high. The drawing on the screen will look the same as here. That's it regarding line drawing. I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next sessions.